Hey guys, welcome back. As always, I pray and hope that God blesses you with his rest, his presence, his grace, and his peace as you watch this video. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get into this gameplay. All right, guys, we are back. Let's see, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. Oh, praise God, Pierce selling fertilizers. Okay, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. It's been two, it's been over two weeks since I last recorded a video. Um, I know I uploaded a video by the grace of God, what was that, yesterday? That video was recorded two weeks ago, over two weeks ago. And to make a long story short, God instructed me to take a rest. I rested. Yeah, I rested and uh, I'm back now. So yes, but honestly, high key, I, I, don't, I don't know the last thing I did on this save file. See, I'm checking this cave. It's because I don't know the last thing I did on this save file. I guess that makes things a bit more interesting. I can go ahead and plant these and save them for later. Why am I saving it for later? Oh, because of food, food. Okay, um, the calendar. Okay, so the flower dance festival is on the 24th. I need to grow flowers and sell them so I can profit from them. We've tapped trees so I can eventually make a bee house. I haven't even unlocked the recipe yet, great. <laughs> great okay so these trees are tapped how many more extra oh praise god we have pine tar so oak crescent maple syrup can we make you know i've i've never tried it and it might not even be a function in the game it just might not be but i wonder if we can tap or not tap but keg flowers and make some kind of like floral wine because I mean, think about it. There is, wait, we have salmon berries today. I just realized that it's back here. I can't, I can't reach it. It's okay. But think about it like, and, and if we can't put them in a keg, maybe we can put them in a preserve jar because people make floral like syrups and stuff. Like it's a real thing. So it might be available in game, don't know. Did I end up getting a backpack upgrade? I did not, so I have to drop these off. How do I have, okay. Just trying to figure out how I had these, my chests organized. What did I do with the other salmon berries? Have I, y'all please forgive me. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's, what, what I have done and what I haven't done. I play Stardew on my live stream, I play it on my personal time. I have the other farm that is also, that I've also been playing here on my YouTube channel. Oh, cutscene. Am I gonna skip this cutscene? Which cutscene is it? Oh, this is that one where, yeah, where this dude come in and stank. I, I don't do, I never do the jokes around. Whatever his name is, Willis or something. Anyway. Um, jazz seeds. I'm trying to, remember like is there a reason why i haven't been planting i know i anything else i know i've been wait have we unlocked caroline's two we haven't can i can i gift her today i can gift her today hey girl how you doing um yeah sure if you want to oh that's the, that's the only thing she's thinking about okay I'm very sure. Did, did that did that get you? Oh, thank you, Jesus. I got her at two hearts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave and then I'm going to come back in. And maybe prayerfully we'll have that cutscene once we go into her tea room. Hey, Pierre. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to just let this play.
Yeah, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Praise the Lord. We just do we we okay. The way I was ready to get that tea leaf off of her plant or whatever. Oh, same dialogue. I was about to be like, don't mind if I do go right back inside there. But the reason why I left out of Pierre's store. Oh, absolutely. The reason why I left out of Pierre's store and then went back is because if you just go straight into the tea room, like the cutscene won't happen. You actually have to leave and then go back. You know what? I see she has 10 gold left. Is there anything that actually retails for 10 gold at Pierre's? It might be dirt cheap, but it's still it's still worth it, you know, be it a cheap flower or even food to eat. Okay, no, the cheapest thing is our parsnip seeds for 20 gold. Just wanted to make sure, get the best bang for our buck. I think after I complete this quest for Linus, I'm just going to go and try to find some forageables on the beach for, where is Linus? Have I unlocked the, uh, the sauna yet? He's over here by the, um, lake. I don't think I've unlocked yet. We haven't unlocked this place yet, so... Once you unlock that area, Linus sometimes spends um, sometimes he spends time up there as well. Thanks. Okay, and we're going to give him. I don't want to give him a regular quality flower. Let's give him a gold quality dandelion. You're more than welcome. No, I know, sweet precious Linus. I almost called him a sweet baby. I call everything and everyone that I adore sweet babies also whenever this bush is in bloom right here I never bother it because that's Linus's bush I was gonna go back to the farm to plant those jazz seeds but now since wait now since we have some extra money I'm gonna spend it on seeds and plant um, the flowers from it Lord willing I just realized we can should I do it? It's extra food. I might as well do it. We have enough to purchase a parsnip seed. Oh, we have enough to purchase a tulip bulb too. So actually, I'm going to just buy the tulip bulb instead. Because at least then we can sell it for a profit. I'm just going to be eating the parsnips. Maybe that's what I'll do. If it's enough for a flower, I will sell it. Or buy the flower seeds as opposed to like the food seeds. Because like we're automatically going to get food from forageables and stuff like that. This spot is not fertilized and I wonder why. We don't know any more um, fertilizer recipes at this moment either. So yeah. yeah. Okay y'all so I've planted and watered everything. I am off to the beach now to search for extra forageables. I am so tempted to sell bars for money. But I got to look on the bright side. By the grace of God, we just unlocked the tea sapling recipe. We'll get it. Oops. We'll get it in the mail. Okay. We have more than enough. What? Is, let me see. Look, 405 fiber. How many? 40 spring seeds. Okay. So we're, we're, we're off to a good start. Praise the Lord. We're off to a great start, actually. Okay. Okay. Hey, Elliot. How you doing? That's powerful. I'm sorry, that was loud. I kind of screamed at y'all. Accept my sincerest, most humblest apologies. A great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it. But if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Well, I really must get back to my work. You, you go ahead. You get back to your work. Hold on. Let me see. If, let me let me give you this. You are more than welcome. My goodness. That that was good. That was That was food. That was good food. Good eats. How much clay do, do we have? seven i'm tempted to do some clay farming to store up for crafting later yeah i feel like i've only been getting lost books from these dig spots i don't think i've gotten i have gotten a couple of artifacts but my goodness yeah y'all i'm gonna do some clay farming just so we can have it for later Okay, so if y'all don't know how to clay farm, just a quick little thing. Uh, you start on empty land. I like using the beach. If you have like the standard farm like I do on this save file, you can use it there. You can use, actually do this on any farm where, where you've cleared out the air, uh, the land. But pretty much, you pick a spot, you, you hoe it and pickaxe it until a piece of clay pops out. Once you do that, from that original spot, you go one up 
and two over. So one up and one, two over, or actually one up and then one, two. Okay, so one up, one, two, you do that. You keep that for six hits. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you get here, you go straight over to where you're on top of where you originally started. You hit here, you hit that spot, and you do the same pattern, one up and two over, for four. Okay? One, two, three, four. Now, you go back and you do, you complete the pattern again on top of the first set of spaces that you did. So... Let me explain what I just did right here. Okay, I always like to start next to this little block of three little dots right here. So I always hit this spot and it doesn't hold up anything because this is like in the summer where there, there, there are beach towels here in the summer. So this is a non-holdable, these are non-holdable tiles, okay? So whenever you hit a non-holdable tile, you hit it, you go on a random spot I chose this random spot. You can choose any other random spot. And you hit it. And then you continue the pattern. If you accidentally mess up. So say if I didn't hit here. I accidentally like hit here or something. You just continue the pattern as if you didn't mess up. So if you hit a non-tillable tile. You go off. Hit a random other tile. And continue the pattern. If you accidentally hit a wrong spot. Don't try to go off. Just continue the pattern as if you didn't mess up. Now to continue, you go three over from your original spot. One, two, three. Hit there. Continue the pattern. Okay, and you can just keep doing that. And then like I just did that, you would go three over from where you originally started right here. One, two, three. And you would start again. But for the sake of time, I'm not going to continue that. You can see I got 39 pieces of clay from that whole entire ordeal. But yeah, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go as far. I, um, I don't want her to pass out. And I hope and pray she doesn't pass out. I feel like it would have been a little bit quicker if she passed through time. She's not going to pass out. We'll make it in time. But yeah, if you are trying to get some good early money in game. Or good money in game early on in your save file. Clay farming is the way to go. Each piece of clay sells for 20 gold each. So five pieces of clay is 100 gold each. So on and so forth. So yeah. But as for me, I am not doing that because we are only selling flowers and their floral byproducts. Guys, you know what I discovered from the UI mod? Okay, wait. Thanks for stopping by my sunroom yesterday. Oh, yes, Caroline. God bless. But what I discovered from the UI mod or what I actually saw on YouTube is just that if you have the UI info suite mod, you do not... I'm about to ruin my crops you do not have to like so you know it shows you your luck of the day it also shows you like on wednesdays and fridays like whenever there's going to be a recipe the recipe the uh whatever people believe it's gus or whatnot i can't think of it queen of the sauce thank you jesus but then also there are the tips as a farmer. So if that icon is not on your screen, if it's not showing on the UI info suite, that means that you have already learned that recipe or you have already received that tip and you do not have to watch the channel for that day. And I, I think it can change in your settings, but yeah, just to let y'all know. So what am I doing today? I did say that I wanted to do more community center completion just because I want to unlock certain things like the uh let's see what's it called the greenhouse would definitely be great to unlock high key my behind um mm, I would have had to do this early on rats and I haven't even I haven't even unlocked the boiler room it's not even an option let's see I have this I don't have a green bean oh my gosh Oh, boohoo, I guess. Let's make some tea saplings. I'm gonna just throw these in here because, like, that's a huge honor. 
Yeah, I high key feel some type of way. Let's let's go to the mines today. I high key feel well. I want to go. I can't go to. Well, I can technically. I can go to Clint's, but I won't be able to give him anything because wait, do we have ore yet? Or five bars? I think we have five. Yeah, we have six copper bars. I can't afford the cheapest pickaxe upgrade yet because. Or not yet, but I can't afford it right now. I, I'll afford it tomorrow. I think that's why I haven't really gone back to the mines um, recently. Because we really don't have the uh, resources right now for it. Kind of tight on money. And tea saplings are going to come in clutch. Man, I wish I would have thought about this before. Like, in terms of completion. Wait. Is it? Oh, I was going to say, wait, we can sell our tea saplings at Pierre's, but it's Wednesday. So I cannot sell my tea saplings right now. I think right now what I'm going to do is just mine for more uh, copper. And then with that, at least I'll be able to upgrade my tools to copper, like all my tools to copper at once. Instead of trying to fixate on the iron. Oops. Because that's, I mean, yeah, it's more expensive obviously did i even plant any seeds like uh spring seeds yeah i don't think i planted any spring seeds what in the world was i thinking y'all what was i thinking y'all let me tell you something i thank god that you know he instructed me to take a rest because you know when you're rested you start thinking clear Y'all, if I would have started planting spring seeds, I would have had more. I don't know. Maybe I just can't remember. Maybe I did plant some and harvest. I don't I don't remember it because I, I don't think I did it. You know how you just try to comfort yourself and make yourself feel better. And then the truth is just sitting there like, nah, don't even play yourself like that. And it's the 17th. I'm so tempted to have her just go straight to bed and just... <sighs> just go tomorrow and sell some stuff to pierre's or not sell at that point she'll be able to buy it from pierre's how many spring seeds i don't have any spring seeds left over do i <laughs> no because we use them all okay but high key you know what i can do what i can do is look for some leaks after i clear this level of the node ores i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go to cinder sap forest lord willing and i'm gonna look for some leaks because i have everything else the only thing i need are leaks guys you know what i just noticed um whenever you're oops, oh this is fiber whenever your character walks on dirt like how they leave footprints in the snow whenever it snows in winter let me get the applicable tools out and put this other stuff away whenever your character walks on dirt they actually kick up dust it's so cute right, let me show you look it's so cute to me okay i'm here to look for leaks i don't know why i didn't plant the spring seeds like i think my whole goal was to get forageables so i can make spring seeds but i don't see why i didn't think to plant spring seeds so that's less work for me to do in the future you feel me like oh my gosh it's okay this is adventurous it's fun i wonder how much leaks are worth in game because like you can easily find daffodils. You can easily find horseradish. You can find dandelions. Can be hard to find. But they're not as hard to come across as leeks. Like, see, so look, two dandelions. Another dandelion. If I'm not mistaken, it takes about like seven days for spring seeds or wild seeds. Or what are they? Are they called wild seeds? But for seasonal seeds to, to blossom if i'm not mistaken look a horseradish like y'all i have run around and i've checked this entire forest i'm gonna just have to come back tomorrow i don't want her to have another health or energy penalty they i've heard multiple times that after 10 p.m your character faces a penalty but after 12 is when it's most significant so yeah y'all i don't know i really want to complete the community center now I, I i made so much noise about not completing the community community center and uh, I'm, I'm regretting it now oh well all right y'all due to the disappointment that occurred yesterday i am going to use today to go to well i'm not going to use today but today i'm going to go to pierre's to see is this ready no it's almost ready 
We'll go to Pierre's to see how long green beans take to grow. We have 10 days left in the season, including today. So prayerfully, green beans won't take longer than 10 days. And can I just thank God for the tea saplings? Cause y'all, if we didn't have the tea saplings, I would have been in a bad place today, financially. Finally, y'all, we just got a artifact that's not, uh, or we just got a dig spot that wasn't a lost book. I'm not too particular like about getting lost books. It doesn't bother me that much, but I was a bit concerned because I was just like, how many lost books am I going to get before I get an artifact? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 10 days. If I plant it today, I will get a harvest on the last day of the season, Lord willing. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. <gasps> I can I can get speed grow you know what let me not be ignorant oh let's see let's see so spring crops I have a parsnip cauliflower potato let's not be ignorant let's be preventable here or let's uh what whatever the word is okay parsnip potato cauliflower are growing right now so the cauliflower are growing so parsnip potato I need to make a chest for a community center. Green bean. I'm just going to get one for the sake of time. Like there's no need for me to have a whole bunch. Also, let me get some speed growth. Should I get trees? There's no need for me to get trees. Uh, is there a reason for me to get trees? Actually, there is a reason for me to get trees. Hold up. This is the reason for me to get trees now. Honey is easy. Jelly is easy. Uh, these two are easy to get. If I get, let me get the cheaper trees. So two, I would just need four trees. Actually, I can pull some cloth in the mines. There's a chance that I can get cloth in the mines. So, and I don't want to use all my money. So what are the cheapest trees? Cherries? No, yes. Apricot and cherry. Let me just get one speed grow just because just already have it. Apricots 2000. And cherries for 3400. That is it for right now. Okay, I'm not going to be ignorant. Seeds and gardening stuff. All y'all going in here. I'm not about to accidentally give things away. Rasmodius wants a dandelion. Actually, let's give him like a one quality or a regular quality dandelion. Um, I'm going to drop this thing off at Gunther's and then I'm going to go back to the farm and plant what I have. Then I'm going to go and grind out in the mines for a little bit. Actually, I'm tempted to go to Clint's because... I need to upgrade my tools. That's the first donation I have, but I have four, five, six lost books. I'm so tempted. If I upgrade anything, it will be the pickaxe. Honestly, high key. Let me upgrade this pickaxe because why not? High key, why not? Now it won't take me so long in the mines as I progress down to the lower levels. Trash bread. High key. I can fish today. Man, I wish I had some coffee for her because it's like, she's going so slow, but it's okay. <gasps> food, cheese, cauliflower, <laughs> trash food, yes. Uh, Rasmodius wants that thing. Let's see, hold up. He wants the, um, where am I going? Where's Pam? I'm so used to her being by the train or the bus stop because of my other save files she is at home so rasmodius wants the dandelion i'm gonna run and give that to him for some extra money i'm running back to give pam a birthday gift that's what you call extending grace when somebody tells you to go away and they being real stinking nasty just give him a gift and leave and that's not always the case it's a situational conditional thing i was going to give penny the dandelion but do we have any of her other like gifts no i have all these things that i can give to gunther i just haven't been giving them to him because i was trying to stock up for crafts and stuff
Oh, poor little Penny. You're more than welcome. Let me go ahead and give this stuff to Gunther. I don't know if this has anything to do with anything, but I could have continued to get lost books because I wasn't donating anything else. You feel me? <gasps> Cauliflower seeds. They, they will be being planted next season, Lord willing. But yeah, I don't know if that's a feature in the game that it's almost like a safety mechanism. You won't unlock certain other, not a safety mechanism. I don't know if that's the correct term to use for it, but there are certain things you won't be able to unlock until you unlock other things. Almost like an invisible requirement. <laughs> They're both crying. She crying because it's stank and he's crying because he probably just can't get in. Oh, that's exactly why. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. But yeah, like, it could be like a s invisible requirement that you have to submit a, a s certain number of other things to the museum before you can unlock other artifacts from dig spots. And honestly, it could have just been me. It could have just been this file, the, uh, what is it called? The number, the, um, it'll come back to me. But you know, every save file has like a number of like pre, like the game is not necessarily random. Everything has predetermined events and uh, a seed. Thank you, Jesus. It's called seeds. Um, they're called seeds. So, and I think his, yeah, blade, he has that thing. It's, it's blade seed predictor in like the like for instance the crop fairy and um the witch flying over your farm those are not as random as you think they're predetermined based off the seed that you have i don't have any of his favorite gifts okay okay here he always seems to pay extra for his quest so every time I see something from Rasmodius if I can complete it I always accept it you're welcome y'all for some reason I've never just really focused on befriending Leah in really any of my save files I've been more aware and cognizant of it in recent save files oh my gosh guys I forgot to pet the baby and give him give her water we're extending grace and we're receiving grace. Amen. Now let me not forget, because if, thank you, Jesus, because if my behind would have forgotten, that would have been a problem. Y'all, I almost freaked out. I almost freaked out because I was like, oh my gosh, I got the speed grow. Why did I plant it in a spot that was already fertilized? But 10 days, it'll take 10 days. So on the last day of the season, we will have green beans, a green bean, Lord willing. So praise God for that. There we go. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else we can do for today. Can't think anything. Praise God. Dad sent us 500 gold. It's needed. I got a fresh cauliflower for you, Jody. You know what? Okay, let me priorities. Let me go ahead and put some water in our precious baby's bowl. Give her some love. And before I even get ahead of myself, I'm going to make an extra chest for community center things. Because I don't want I don't want to take that that chance. Like I don't want to risk anything. Okay, so these are community center items that I have collected thus far. And actually, let me go ahead and um, make another chest for stuff for Gunther. We only have this dwarf scroll to submit to Gunther right now. So that's good. It's not bad. Okay, so at this rate, when is my pickaxe going to be done? One day one two three four five in five days there's going to be the flower dance and it is on a wednesday so one two well today will be one two three four five how long does it take blue jazz seeds to grow 
or jazz seeds seven days and this takes six days so there are no flowers that I could plant right now I can make can I make it I have fiber do I have I don't have the seasonal seeds that's why mm, rants if I had some spring seeds honestly let me go and uh, check cinder sap forest for some leeks as well as the backwoods because then I can make some more tea saplings and sell those really quickly I want to have enough money for the flower dance festival so we can buy things there to decorate the farm I think I'm gonna try to collect the rare crows as well because might as well you know why not you know what I'm just realizing let me not say it yet let me not say it yet I'm tempted to get this lobster and this house plant it's not worth it though I'm not gonna get the puffer fish either it's just not worth it not if I'm saving up for the flower dance guys we have our first okras and our oh first two okras and praise the lord okay guys you know what i realized that i didn't want to speak until i just checked that the day for me checking for forageables was yesterday i should have checked it on thursday because that's like the day when everything is full well with everything said and done I don't think there's anything else that she can do right now, honestly. I can't think of anything. Let's go to bed early. Wait. Yeah, let's go to bed early. Thank God we have a bee house now. Or we have the bee house recipe now, praise the Lord. And we're able to craft speed grow. Two big pluses and our copper pickaxe is ready, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, y'all, so I picked up a quest from Clint to to get 30 copper ores. So I'm going to do that really quickly, Lord willing. Oops, I did not mean to do that. It's okay. I'm going to do that really quickly, Lord willing, and then I'm going to go and plant these seasonal seeds. Guys, I got bored of ore collecting. I, I was able to collect four ore before I got bored. I'm also in part just wanting to hurry up and plant these spring seeds because uh, I really want to get more or have more um, seeds so I can make more tea saplings. I think I'm going to start tilling this soil in preparation for sprinklers because the deeper we go into the mines, that's, that's literally what we'll begin to have access to. Lord willing, so let's see. Mm, I guess I could be getting refined quartz as well. Yeah. What's required to make? You don't even have the quality sprinkler. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, copper bar and iron bar. We'll have basic sprinklers. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Today's Shane's birthday. Let me go ahead and get him a um, gift, a birthday gift. I'm getting him a pizza because I'm not about to enable his problem, his drinking problem. I understand that, but you're you're getting pizza, birthday pizza for me. See, three out of eight hearts. Pizza is one of his favorite gifts, so that's good. You're more than welcome. Okay, I thank God I didn't forget that. I'm going to keep it real. I actually did forget it, but um, I thank God for the UI Info Suite mod because I forgot. We have our first quartz. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. We have maple syrup, too. I didn't even see this earlier. Oh, so cute. Praise the Lord. I didn't even see that earlier. Are any of our other trees producing? I thought for sure. Okay, you know what? I want to chop down the trees that are blocking the trees with the tappers on them. I thought that was... Where? Okay, I tapped, what, four trees? Where's the other tree? One two three four five oh okay i see now i understand okay so this is actually the only tree up here that is tapped get rid of all these little scraggly bits because i don't want to have a tree grow up in front of it and honestly you know the icon will be up here but it just makes things a little bit harder to see sometimes so yeah let me go ahead and get rid of this as well these two I think that's everything 
All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, to share, and to turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified the next time God blesses me to upload another video, Lord willing. And don't forget the fact that I love you guys, but Jesus loves us all best. God bless. Bye. Mwah.